Light J once again. I'm with uh, Cuzzo, as you can see in the background. We have Fort Pickens right now, uh, long, known as Sporty B, you already know. Uh, we in Fort Pickens right now, man. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. Ain't too many people on the pier right now, so uh, we about, we got some live, we got four dozen of live shrimp, and then we got two uh, two cups of fresh, uh, fresh uh, frozen shrimp. So uh, we gonna see if we can get on them, man. They've been catching uh, Spanish out here a lot. Uh, mango snappers a lot big mango snapper 11 12 inch mango snapper so yeah excuse me excuse me excuse me but uh yeah we're gonna get on them man and see uh see see if we can uh uh hook up on something man so uh we gonna get back with y'all let y'all know what's up but uh y'all stay tuned man all right guys we just uh touched down right here at fort pickens as y'all can see a lot of people on the bridge right now early morning people still coming this we got over here, cousin. We got some uh, shrimp, some of them still alive. Some of them still dead. alive. Fresh, fresh, uh, fresh dead. Fresh dead shrimp. And then we also got four dozen of live shrimp for y'all. So, we gonna see if we can get on something, man. Look at that view right there. Beautiful. Stay tuned. Uh, your bad review, that guy. Get him, 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 get him. Yes, sir. Nice one. Five hooking too, that's why I hit him. That's why I hit him. Good job, man. Hooked up on this red snapper, free lining. We gonna throw him back. Spanish, nice Spanish, free line. Stay tuned, baby. Hey, man we back in the kitchen with it man back in the kitchen with it let y'all see what's going on right now i'm about to uh panko up some of this uh uh not mango schnapper but this uh spanish mackerel i'm about to panko some of that uh spanish mackerel for y'all right now i'm using this seasoning right now all-purpose seasoning you know uh salt pepper then i got some parsley right here i got some ground crushed pepper extra pepper i like pepper some garlic salt and some uh some tonies and you already know man i'm going with this right here like always if y'all want this right here you can find this at Publix in the florida aisle so they got their own little section in the florida aisle too this uh everglades seasoning real good go good with everything i'm gonna show y'all what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna season this flour that i got going most people don't do this right here most people don't do this not too much just a little bit bang bang Come with this. Oh, it look like that's too much, but that's all right, though. That's going to be perfect. Bang, bang. Put some of that right there on it. Crushed pepper. Good crushed pepper. Then come in here with these uh parsley flakes. Put a little parsley flakes on it. It ain't, it ain't do nothing like far as... uh. 
flavor or nothing like that. It's just for the look when the, when the fish come out, you know, makes it look good. And um, we're gonna go with a little bit of this. Not too much, just that much. Yep. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stir that stuff up, stir everything up. Get that flour right. You might not have to uh, season the fish because you don't season this flour right here. So you ain't got to worry about that. Season the fish if you want to, your preference. Me, I'm not. As y'all can see right now, I got one egg that's already cracked. I'm going to go with this other egg. You're going to need two eggs or however many, many uh, fish you got. So uh, you're going to take that. We're going to beat that down. All right, y'all see that macro right there? I got cut up. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna start right here. Pat it down, pat it down. Not, uh, you ain't got to coat it all, all the way or nothing like that. This just so it can stick on. Then you take it right here. Then you put it inside this egg. Once you put in that egg, let that egg drip off. And then you go right here to this uh, panko. I like to pat it. Throw it over it, throw it over like that. Then once you flip it, once you flip it, you get it coated good. Boom. Then you come over here, and you lay it down. And you want all, you're gonna do this to all these right here. Boom. Come over there. Egg wash. Flip it. Let the excess egg get off. Drip. Come over to the panko. Boom. We're going to do all these like that. Get all of them coated. Boom. Sit it over here to dry. All right. And that's how it should be looking right there. We're going to let those dry off for 10 minutes. And then you could probably uh, throw, them, uh, throw them in the grease. So we're going to let those things right there dry off for 10 minutes, man. Put them in the freezer. Let them dry off. All right. While you letting your uh, fish dry out, I'm gonna make this sauce for y'all. Only two ingredients. You gonna take some of this. Maybe uh, I'll say two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of butter. We gonna let that melt down. And on this sauce, on sauce period, you never wanna have your uh. Yo, out too hot. So right now I got I'm working at a medium. Gonna let that melt down. See how that thing melting down? It ain't all uh coming to a brown. You don't wanna have it too high. Melt down. Grab me a, um, a little ladle and watch it melt down. Look at that. See how it's still, still like that, buttery, no brown, medium high. Get you there every time with your sauce. You don't want to be all up high and be doing all that crazy crap like that. So y'all just uh, cook on the medium high, let it melt down. See that? It melting down. See how it melt down like that? Once it melt down like that, what you do is you come in with you some orange juice. OJ, me, my prefer, I like Florida. So this probably is straight out, straight from Florida somewhere. I don't know. It's probably a brand from Florida. Then you take your orange juice. Pour your orange juice in there. Just like that, boom. And orange juice got sugar in it. So you know what that's going to do. It's going to cook down. So that's why you don't want to have it too high. Then you just want to crank it up just a little bit. It's on medium high. Right there, crank it up just a little bit. Don't go crazy now. Do not go crazy with it. Because once it starts bubbling and doing all that crazy stuff, then you're in the world of trouble. You're going to have to start all back over. Because uh, sauce burns real easy. And you just sit down and you just watch it. Stir that like that. 
gonna be a sauce for that fish. Yes, sir. Wait till that thing comes to a boil. Not a boil. It ain't gonna not a boil, but I mean it's gonna, you know, do its little thing, but simmer down. So you just watch it as it simmer down. That uh sugar uh, uh, uh simmer down with it and kind of get like a thick. So once it get to where you want it at with the thickness, not the little watery, then you can pretty much take it out the aisle. All right, man, I realized I was just missing one ingredient, one more ingredient. That's uh, everybody know how to do it. Just take flour, mix it with water, stir it up like that. And once they right there, you see that get to boiling? Yes, sir. You just come over here. You just, just dump your little bit in there. Boom, like that much. You don't got a little bit thick. Take it out the aisle, it'll get thicker. We're gonna go for a little bit more. Go for a little bit more, just a little bit more. Keep stirring it though so it won't burn or anything like that. That's why I say keep it on medium high. See, I can turn it down like right now. Medium high, keep it on that medium high. See? You got a little thick. Yes, sir. Y'all stay tuned. All right, getting that grease hot. That grease already hot, man. I got these right here. Been chilling for a little minute. We about to drop them in there. See what it do. And you don't want them. As soon as it hit the water, I mean, as soon as, so, uh, yeah, as soon as that bait hit the water, you hook them. But as soon as it got dang on, uh, it hit that like that, you see, it's already turning brown. So you want to go ahead and hurry up and flip it. Boom. See what I'm talking about? Yeah. This one, go ahead and flip it. They get brown real quick, real quick. So that's why you don't want to cook them on high. As soon as it hit the grease, this paint go get real quick. That right there. Look at that. Look at that, see what I told you. Real quick, this grease. Boom. You gotta be on point with these things. Look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that was hot. That was hot. That was hot. Don't do that. Not on the cast iron. Yes, sir. As y'all can see, them things looking good, ain't it, man? Look. Panko crusty. Mackerel. Always remember to cut off that aisle too. Go ahead and hit that like button because you already know it look good. As y'all can see. That don't look good. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, man.